Ouais, désolé, je vais, je vais doucement, mais oui, oui. c'est un cortège d'anciens. Ah oui, ça ça. Va, oui. Ce sont des reconstitutions. Ok, people, we're back in the Second World War. Ouais, the Jerry's, the Americans, the police. There you go. Yeah, some seven, seven try, years ago or something. Try, try to talk very loud. Seven years ago, I think this was. I was in Switzerland with, with my girlfriend and the dogs. We, we were driving from Bern in the direction of Thun. It's this way. Can you talk louder? A, li a little try, yeah, I can shout. Yeah. We were driving in the direction of Thun and the police take us out. It's first they say, hey, where are you going? Ah, we just go to the nature uh, to do what we do. And they make a drug check, for sure, alcohol tests. It, it is negative, zero alcohol, zero drugs. Ah, okay. Then they, they are looking at the wheels on the, on the car, the van. Ah, this is not correct. This one is a Michelin. This is Dunlop tire. You cannot mix. You must have all the same. Yeah, it is okay. No, it is not okay. Well, in England, it is okay. I'm the vehicle, I have the ticket, I have the license. It is all legal, not a problem. Yeah, okay. And then they say something like, um, yeah, your friend must leave now and take the dogs away. You come with us, come to the police place. Yeah, okay, I come to get in my van. No, no, you cannot drive the van, you must come in the police car. For what? I have a van, I can drive. No, no, we drive your van. You come with us. Okay. And I come to Bern, the Weizen House in Bern City. They take me in, the van, and yeah, they're asking me some questions. What you have in your pockets? I have 120 francs or something. Some small euros and pounds. And then they say, uh, ah, you, you must make another drug test. Uh, piss in the bottle. Uh, why? Okay, yeah, I piss in the bottle then. And I say to him, I say, hey, I think it was maybe six or seven days ago. I, I was in France and I smoked some marijuana. Maybe it will be in the piss. It stays in for one month, I think. And yeah, I piss in the bottle. And he say, hey, hey, this is positive for marijuana. Yeah, I just tell you this, I was in France some, some one week ago or six days. So it will be positive. You must do another test. Yeah, I can do another test, but it will be positive. And I do, and yeah. And then they say, ah, oh, okay. You come to the hospital with us now. They take my money from me. They take me to the hospital in Bern. I don't know which one, but they take me to the hospital. Uh, Inzelspital. No, it was not the Inzelspital. Okay. Some other one, but yeah. they take me for a blood test and um, for walking up and down, like to, to make sure I am not drunk. You must walk in a straight line, like the American check, and hold your hands up like this. Close your eyes, walk on the spot, <laughs> and count to, count to 60, one minute. And yeah, I can count to one minute easy. And I say, it is now. And the doctor and the policeman look at each other. Hey, the guy cannot be so drunk. He count to 60 and almost perfect. And so, yeah, they do the blood check and they're taking me back to Burn City. Place, place. And he say to me, uh, the bill is uh, 1,300 francs you must pay. But, um, we have taken the 120 something francs. No, you only have 1100 and something to pay. How can you pay this? Hey, I have not been to the justice or nothing. I have not committed no crime. Zero. Yeah, but how can you pay the money? No, I cannot pay. Ah, uh, your family have some money. No, my family have no money, sorry. Your friends, they have, no. My friends really don't have any money. Less than me, and I've got nothing. And anyway, they take me back to the police base. I say to him, hey, you can take me to the prison and we can work it out this way. I go and when, I, when you pay the money, you can kick me out. And they, they take me back to the police station anyway. And they say, yeah, they kick me out. Here is your passport, ciao. 
hey, what, what about my van and my driving license and things? No, no, um, tomorrow morning you can come back and collect the van. What? Why tomorrow morning? Why not now? It is my van. No, 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 no. Only in the morning. So I think, ah, uh, yeah, maybe you think I am on drugs today, but tomorrow I will not be on drugs and I will pass the test. I, I really have no, no understanding of it. I have an understanding. You know, the Swiss are robber barons and they have got a very low tax system. So the police, they have to get their own money themselves. You know, to get their goodies, their weapons, their their cyber police and everything, their cars. It was criminal so to they take the money from me. They take the 128 francs and not give it me back. No, and criminal. they are asking for more. But then after so much time, three months, they give the money back. But yeah, so the I Swiss know. police, they are like a... It's, it's a business program. And this is why, you know, the, it, it came out like three weeks ago that the instigator, the organizer of the terrorist attacks in France, he was Swiss. And this is what I've been telling all the time. No, I'm serious. His name is uh, uh, Thomas Marcel Christen. It was in the newspaper, the German newspaper. And this is what I've been telling all the time. The Swiss police, they have no time to do the work they should do they're only going after the money and looking for victims, you know. You know, the last time they wanted 20,000 Swiss francs of me because a policeman, he lied stuff together that I threatened him, which was a complete lie. I'm not doing things like that. First of all, I'm not stupid. And second, it's not my mentality to threaten people. I, I don't do things like that, you know. So they kept me in prison for more than one year because they just lie stuff together, you know? They're a bunch of robber barons. Okay, turn around, say hello to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Chonga, oh, okay. from England. Thank you for your testimony, Chonga. Ah, uh, you're welcome, I put friend. it on the web, and if you give me your mail, I'll send it to you, bro. Hey, uh, cool, man. Tell the world how corrupt the police are. They are corrupted. Thanks, Chonga. And thanks for taking me hitchhiking, bro. Yeah, uh, you're welcome for the lift, man. Nice to meet some real people, eh? You know, the Swiss are absolutely crazy about this simplified Templars flag. I already showed you this glove once. But I didn't show you this here. I didn't even see it. Look at that. It's got the Templars V. The whole thing is a triangle, which is probably 60 degrees. In the right colors, white, blue and red. And red is the circle with a little bit of white in it, you see? Uh, red for the old world order. It's also the sun. So this, it says the concept of three, the compass, the circle. With a compass you can make a circle. And then it's got the, uh, the concept of three, the triangle. There are three corners in it, or three sides. Which is at the same time a Templar's V. So the concept of four must be here as well, somewhere. Well, there it is. Here's your concept of four. Now it's got four arms on it, the Swiss flag. Yeah. I, I showed you once in my video the, um, it's great to be Swiss, eh? But fuck two puts it all, it puts it all behind, you know, so you can see all the lovely things about how lovely Switzerland is, you know, instead of my films. Ah, the cheese, you know, otherwise nobody will buy it. You can make Emmental cheese um, in France nowadays or in America or whatever. You know, the eggs has, needs to have a Swiss Templars flag on it. And you see the flag, it's the only flag in the world which is a square. Yeah. Here. The bacon, there, bacon, here, some more bacon, you know, it needs to be Swiss, Terra Swiss, the Swiss land, say, S um, the Switzers, Switzerland, Terra Swiss, there you go, Auslaufhaltung, Elevage en plein air, so the Swiss are being, yeah, they can walk around like, 
but not a foreigner you can't, eh? There, the square, yeah, Swiss made, there you go, all Swissy, eh? Otherwise, nobody will buy their shit, eh? If it doesn't say something like with Swiss, eh? Look at that, you know. It's absolutely hilarious. It's crazy, you know. It's sick. It's, it's sick. I mean, this is sick. Eh? It says it all. Terra Suisse, the Swiss lands, the bad lands, bad lands it is. Oh, I forgot that one, the butter. I just like, you know, I just had to look everything what I found in the fridge, you like, you know. Yeah, Swiss, Swiss guarantee. You know, what, what kind of guarantee you need on the butter? Guarantee Swiss or they think there's something better than the rest with their oldest democracy in the world August the 1st 1291 It is the oldest democracy, but only for the Lords. There's no democracy in, in Switzerland because it's the seven uh, The seven heads of state like in the book of Revelation They decide at the end of this Swiss referendum if it passes or not. So there's there's no democracy anyway. You know, and it's, it's going to disappear anyway, you know, the Swiss referendum. Uh, because for our masters, they're pain in their asses anyway, the Swiss. You know. And um, But half of the people, half of the populations are masters and the rest, they, you know, they collaborate 100% or 300% with them. <coughs> that's so special about it. This, uh, that's the Swiss guarantee. That they uh, collaborate 300% with the masters, eh? There you go, that's the guarantee. You can see them as Templars colors. It's the Badlands.